Yo, what's up? I'm Carl Deitch and you're watching Joburg Today. As the winter firmly sets in, Joburg's emergency management services goes into overdrive to increase their efforts to educate communities on the importance of safety around open heat and lighting sources. Here's the full conversation. Now, you're going to be running a winter drive campaign. Um, why don't you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, the winter safety drive is actually an initiative from our city of Joburg Emergency Management Services Public Education which has got a responsibility to ensure that our residents are informed about life and fire safety educational programs. So it normally intensifies around this time of the year, around winter season, where we conduct our door-to-door -door campaigns, uh, targeting most, uh, especially our you know, informal settlements, you know, our less fortunate residents out there, because we know uh, this will be the most vulnerable communities uh, during a uh, winter season because of the heating uh, devices they're using, like for instance, candles, paraffin stoves. Things. So we target those uh, communities to make sure that uh, we prevent, you know, fatalities and also uh, fire, fire incidents uh, throughout uh, the city of Johannesburg. Now, what are some of the key incidences that you deal with on a regular basis around this time? Yeah, this time around, we uh, mostly respond to fire incidents, which are mostly caused by unattended heaters, unattended paraffin stoves, you know, unattended uh, candles or carbon uh, monoxide inhalation incidences. So those are generally most of the incidences which we respond to uh, during this uh, winter season. I mean, since you're facing things like that, the question then becomes, are your winter drives successful? Have there been any results or changes in the way people uh, look at uh, heating, for example? Yes, uh, there, there have been a number of, uh, you know, a reduction in terms of, uh, you know, the fire incident and also fatalities. If you're looking, we're comparing from uh, 2016. 20 up until now 2018 like 2016 we had um, about uh, over 700 fire incidents and then about 23 people losing their lives the following year which was 2017 around winter time we had a reduction in terms of the number of fire incidents we had about 242 incidents and then eight people losing their lives so we had a you know huge reduction in terms of uh, fire incidents and also fatalities we don't have enough resources to render, you know, uh, services to each and every resident of uh, the city of Johannesburg. But with the limited resources we have, uh, we want our residents out there to look after these limited resources. Because on a weekly basis, there are incidences where, you know, it's either our vehicles are hijacked, our emergency service personnel are, you know, attacked, robbed of their belongings. Some of the, our vehicles are damaged, you know, and also some of the, our equipment which we use uh, you know, as a, a damaged, and then uh, these equipment are very much expensive. You cannot really go buy them over the counter in most of the stores. You have to order them. It takes a lot of time, and our vehicles also. You know, you have to design it according to the area you're servicing. So it takes a lot of time for us to repair, and then. The very same uh, communities, they are the ones who are going to complain that uh, they are not getting enough, uh, you know, effective service. If you've got a, a uh, six ambulances which are operating in Jabulani fire station, which is servicing Jabulani uh, and surrounding areas, and you damage three of them or you burn three of them, what's going to happen? It means that now you are three a uh, short now. It means that the service is going to be even worse affected than the, uh, the way it was before. They must also understand that we don't discriminate when we respond to incidents. Whether somebody stole something, somebody hurt somebody, we have to respond to all the emergencies. We've got a responsibility to offer medical and fire services to all the residents.